Now that we've run a few simulations, I want to go and look at that 2D flight profile a little bit more and to show you how to change some of the settings there. Um, to get to that 2D flight profile, you can just click on the flight profile. But when you do, make sure that one of the simulations is highlighted because that's what you're going to be viewing. So when I click there, it reruns the simulation and then brings me back to here. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you're going to find a Preferences button. And I want you to go ahead and click on that. And I want to go through some of these, these preferences that you can change. Um, the first one is this background image. This background image is just for decoration. It doesn't do anything to the flight. It doesn't represent exactly how high the rocket flies. It's just there to give you some decoration so you're not looking at a blank screen. Now this background image, um, this shows you where the image is stored on your computer. And if you want to pick a different one, you can click the Browse button and it will bring up a screen. It's in the Backgrounds folder, which is in your RockSim folder. Um, so for example, I can choose this one right here and I change, click OK, and it's going to change that screen to a different background image. Um, these vertical lines for the weathercocking and the, the numbers on the bottom of the screen are also controlled here in the preferences. Um, the weathercocking cone color right now is green and you can change that color to anything you want. So I'm changing it to orange. Um, the flight track, remember when the rocket leaves the pad, um, it's going to leave those dots behind. That's called the flight track. Let me expand that a little bit so you can see that's the flight track. And you can have different flight track colors for different stages of the rocket. Again, when you click on one of them, you can just select any color that you want. Um, the, the diameter is the size of the dot. And the interval right now it's set at one second. The rulers is right here. Um, I have it set as yellow, so that's the color, and the font, you can click on that and it will bring out the font selector. Um, right now it's selected as Helvetica. Um, you can change it to anything you want. Um, you can change it to Arial, Bold, and over here is the size. On Windows, this screen may look a little bit different, but um, it, you'll figure it out. It does pretty much the same thing. Um, and then you click OK. and we changed a number of things. We changed our weather cracking cone color and the font down here. Um, the image of the rocket is also controlled here. Um, this is the default image, um, and that's here in this last tab called the rocket image. Um, when you um, basically, if, if you want this image to look like your rocket, this is where you'll go. So you're going to choose an image prefix name. So this is called, we'll call this our test rocket. Uh, and then we need to where these images are going to be stored. These are called sprites. Um, these little images. And if I click up here, um, I have to select where I want them stored. I'm going to throw them in my media folder and I'm going to create a new folder in here called my test rocket. Uh, so I can delete them later if I want. So I created a new folder and now they're going to be stored here. Um, the image width and the height are down here and that controls the size of it right now. It's pretty small. Um, if you want something a little bit bigger, um, I can set it at 250 by 250 pixels. The image step size, uh, you'll see what that is in here in just a second as soon as I click generate rocket image data. And so right now, it's creating an image every five degrees. Um, and that's what this was showing right here, the image step size. So that's, that's in degrees. And it's drawing a new image for every stage of this rocket in every configuration. Right now, it's drawing uh, with the flame coming out. It's just a little tiny flame. It's a white flame right there. Um, and when I click OK, it's going to re load everything and now you see our rocket on the screen and you can see it taking off uh, remember we changed our dot color um, and the rocket comes down um, 
our image is a little bit bigger than it could be displayed on the screen, so that's what you're seeing there. Um, this is kind of cool, um, what you're seeing here. Um, normally when a rocket comes down, it comes down at a constant rate, and so you get a nice straight line. This one is curved, and that's the beauty of the flight profile screen, is you get a lot more data. Uh, what we're seeing here is that the wind is varying. So right here at the top, the wind is kind of low. It's kind of a low wind speed blowing across. Uh, but then we, as we get closer to the ground, the wind changed. And so it's blowing a little bit faster, uh, which is really cool. And it, and it happens in real life. So Roxim's trying to mimic that. Um, you'll also see coming out of the rocket right here, these are puffs of smoke. This gives us an indication of the direction of the wind. You can see that they're drifting with the wind, and then he finally they just kind of wisp away. That's also controlled here in the preferences, and that's under the smoke effects tab. And you can change the color of those, and the size, and the life, how long they're going to last during the flight. And that's right here. Right now, they're, they're a puff of smoke is it put down every five meters. If you want more smoke, you can say, you know, make it four meters or three meters or two meters. And it, when it reruns the simulation, um, now you're going to see more smoke coming out of the rocket here at the beginning. See, there's a little bit more smoke. The rocket um, doesn't have a lot of thrust. It's a very short burn. Um, so you don't see a lot. Another thing that you see here, you see arrows coming out of the rocket. These arrows are the forces acting on the rocket. So right here at liftoff, we have an arrow in the up direction. That's our thrust force. That's what's pushing the rocket up in the air. Um, then you have a, uh, a rotating force here that's trying to make the rocket arc into the wind. And the rocket actually, it, it tilts back and forth. It kind of wobbles as it goes up. You'll see those arrows flip from side to side as it goes up. Um, if those are distracting for you, you can again go back into the preferences, and that's called the vector overlay. And it's under this tab right here. Right now we have display the vectors with uniform scaling. I can just turn them off. Um, and now when I run the simulations, they won't show up. Um, so that is the preferences. This preferences only controls this particular screen, not the other preferences in the software. Um, in our next video, we'll, we'll show you the other preferences that you control as a user of Roxim. Um, so until that time, you know, have fun, experiment, play around. You're not going to break anything. You can always revert back to the original conditions.